acquaintance here in San Francisco who is actually working um, as a technician down at Palmer Station, which is an American research station in the Antarctic. Yeah. She sent a, a couple of things which became the beginning of the Antarctic collection. Um, and those included a fire extinguisher tag, a pair of crampons, and a number of other things that were souvenirs. And so it was a very interesting first contribution, partly because um, the Antarctic you know, it's considered to be, you know, a pristine environment, a, re a research environment. It's an environment, fragile, you could say, and also sort of yeah. a, a place that's, that's dedicated to a kind of peaceful coexistence. You know, and yet it has no representation in the UNFCCC. So that was what first came in. And I guess, you know, that was that, that was the beginning of the collection. Somebody sent me a package, a candy package from Australia. We've received, if I say we, I mean the archive. Um, we've received some material from Iceland, from, from Venice, um, Italy, which I was in some ways surprised by because in some ways, you know, they have a lot of mitigation capacity in terms of their seawall. You know, other places include Panama, Peru, Northern Russia, California, Senegal, Trinidad and Tobago, and you know, Tuvalu, Pacific, the Pacific Island, Tuvalu. The criteria are simple and they're meant to be broad, but there's a problem if they become overly broad. In some ways, you know, it's really important for everything to receive kind of equal respect. People should put what they find. And I don't think it's, for some people, it was important to have something that had cultural resonance and that yeah. might become more meaningful. Um, within the archive, such as someone who was um, a researcher about the Kivalina uh, versus Exxon case and went up to Kivalina in Alaska, which is already very impacted. And she, um, she purchased a whalebone carving um, by someone there who's a local uh, artisan, you know, and a cultural worker there. And she felt that after she bought it, she felt it made more sense in the archive. At the same time, I feel like, you know, anything Anything is meaningful, garbage, because you know it, it. It shows the circulation of goods, you know. And I think there's a question about the temporality, and also too, you might be a, you might have already migrated from somewhere, you might have gone from somewhere, and you might be in London. So yeah. Might be something you had in your pocket. So yeah. the idea is that it could be anything, yet it needs to, in theory, really be about this idea of. Of loss. And also thinking about these different kind of time scales. So for example, people might have been affected by an acute weather event. It's hard to say whether or not they will be able to go back. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.